Hello, successful Sami here. Um, I did a video earlier today on uh, immigration to Canada and 50 other good countries. And while I was trying to explain some things, it was not coming up. Number about three things. And I'm going to go over that very quickly so that I can join this video to the other video so that you can see what I'm saying. So um, number one is the Canada, okay? So let's look at it and then uh, we look at this. Okay, so over here you see something like this and you see, um, you see visitor's visa. So if you want to travel based on visitor's visa, you can come over here and check for your visitor's visa. I want to be sure that I'm sharing my screen right now. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. So um, you can come over here and come and see this. Okay, so this is how to apply for your visitor's visa and then you put the necessary document. Uh, you see the details of your document here. Of course, you need proof of fund. Number one, you need uh, travel history. Number two, you need a letter from the person you'll be staying with. Number three, you need to show your tie to Nigeria, number four. And if you have been refused before, you need to state the reason uh, for the refusal and the answer um, against that. Then the next one I spoke about is the Able Canada. That is, if you want to go to Canada as a student, you can go through this platform, everything you ever want to find out about studying in Canada, getting to be a Canadian through education, it's on this platform. So you can just come over here and say, um, let's, I pick computer science the other time. So let's say you pick computer science and let's say you want to find out that at MSc level. Okay, so over here at MSc level, so, you can have display of um, the list of programs. So from there, you see the result. And what do you have in this result? You have all the various schools that are available here. And any of these schools, you can actually see them, um, see the course that is available, see the school fees, see the requirements, see when they are going to resume, apply for that course. and they can always get back to you. So look at it here. Um, so you have this particular school that I clicked on now. I'm waiting for more information on um, algorithms and bioinformatics. So let me click on graduate studies and see what that will give me. And over here, you see Masters of Applied Computer Science. Let's see what the details is all about. And over here, you see how to apply. So each of the school um, have their link website in all those schools. So you will find a lot of details, how to apply, how to mail your document, how to send your transcript, and a whole lot of that uh, from this website. Um, I hope I'm sharing the right team. Okay. Um, okay, so let me come over here and share this. Okay, so um, so you see all these documents and all the likes over here. Now, I haven't said that, I need to um, also show you that you can, so that's edu.canada. Um, everything about education in Canada. Another one you need to know that I spoke about is the job bank, okay? The job bank, and that talks about um, you getting um, you getting the job done in Canada, okay? So let's look at this, okay? So let's look at this. So over here, you can look for, let's say you want to become, um, Let's say you want to do the work of an agronomist, agrono, agronomist, okay? So over here, 
Um, let's see what that entails. So uh, what am I trying to bring out? What I'm trying to bring out is the fact that any job you are looking for in Canada, you can go to jobbank.gc.ca. So you can enter Canada as an immigrant. You can enter Canada as a visitor. You can enter Canada as a student, and then you can enter Canada through jobs, okay? Um, so uh, you see various jobs here that you can apply for. Let me just click on this one, and then you click on any one that you want, and then you can scroll down, and you can then, um, I'm waiting for that to come up. So while that is coming up, I have mentioned three things now. I mentioned um, www.canada.ca, okay? So that's the one where I checked the visitor visa. This one is edu.canada.car, and this one is, oh, this thing seems to be taking a long time. Uh, probably I want to check something else, okay? Okay, I'm still on course. Okay, so let me just try and open it somewhere else. Um, okay. Mm, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. This is taking a long time, bro. Ah, okay, it's opened finally. Uh, let me go to Cook. Let me go to Cook and see if that one will open faster. Okay, so um, okay, so why that is opening up? Um, I've done a video earlier today, and I dropped that video, and I later realized that I was showing all of these things, and I was talking about them. <laughs> My screen was not showing. It was the other thing I spoke about that I was showing. So I decided to record these three websites and then add it to the other video. So the next thing you are going to see now is that other video. I'm joining this to that. Okay, so you might watch a bit of that and see me saying something. These are all the things I'm saying that I was not showing. So look at it here. Cooked uh, chili pepper is the name of that place. And then you apply over here. So you can see that that's how to go about it. So let me just stop here. Of course, you send it through this email. Let me just stop here so that I can join this to that. Okay. So um, well, kindly find the rest of the video in the other one. Enjoy it. Hello, successful Sami here. And today I want to talk about um, migrating out of Nigeria. Um, Canada is not the only place you can migrate to. There are many other places you can migrate to, but let me just talk about Canada and 10 other countries you can migrate to that are fantastic. Um, let me go straight to four ways you can migrate out of Canada. Visitors visa, you can get the details of that at this website, canada.car. And at canada.car, um, very fast. So you can come over here and say visitors visa. And then you'll be able to see the details of what is required for you to visit Canada. Okay, um, you can apply for Canada visa using this uh, platform. Is something that will really work for you. Um, I wouldn't say that. The next thing I want to talk about is moving to Canada through education. You can do that with Canada.ca. Okay, uh, .ca. Uh, let's look at that. So you have this right there. So look at this. Are you seeing this? So any school you want to pick, let's say you want to go for, let's say you want to go for masters. For most people that want to like go for masters, you can come right here, search the college. And then when you go over here, let's say that what you study in the university is computer science, you put computer science there, and then you scroll down and then you pick uh, maybe masters, right? 
and then you say any university is okay then you pick language whether english or french or bilingual because in canada the truth remains that there are several lang i mean there are about two major languages french and english okay so uh, you could actually pick anyone so you click on display and that's going to show you the list of schools that list of 51 programs result for schools that will teach you in english language and they are going to be doing computer science and then when you click on the school you will now see the requirements of each of the schools okay so that's how to go about it um so look at it um looking at this let's pick this for instance you will see all the details here full-time part-time september um apply now okay two years course you apply and then you will see the school fees you see all the details okay um at this particular point where you can apply for that okay now um that's for you know i just speak any example right so you can you can put any course that you want to study like that and then you'll be good to go now i would say that another way is to get a job and getting a job you come to the job bank gc ca so let's say the work you want to do is an greek job or let me say you're a fashion designer you come over there and say and say search okay and then you have this so you, you see this fashion designer job and then you click on it and then you look at the requirement here um you see all the details down here and then you apply okay so you, you go there and apply you send the email of your stuff over here so that's how to go and then as an immigrant you may want to seek uh, the express entry platform okay so you might want to seek the express entry platform express entry platform so that's another way to do go as an immigrant so you see how all of that work now i haven't said that there are other countries that are also good it's not only canada that is also that is good there are other countries that are good that you may want to check out and particularly i want to talk about some of these countries that you can go to by investing by investing in that country so let's take them van vanatu um has the fastest citizenship um by investment program in the world and only cip in south pacific offering a common web passport okay van vanu van Van, Vanatu is extremely popular for its speed processing and easy application. Approvals are within 20 to 30 days compared to two to three months taken by Caribbean countries. Okay. Um, it requires $130,000 per person and to receive citizenship passport, the contribution rises uh, for family. The minimum price set by government is all inclusive and the total fee proposed 50,000 uh, law firm and agent 80,000 one time contribution to the government no additional charges apply except due diligence so single applicant 130,000 married couple 150,000 plus one child 165 two children 180 additional dependent 10,000 due diligence fee uh, 5,000 per applicant and um you know they've reduced the processing time to 1.5 um it, 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 the passport is ranking the passport ranking c b i index rating is six best cbi interest rating is 10 nomad passport 71 um it's it's a good country that's what that is saying um it's a tax-free country in the world no income no wealth or inheritance tax, no FATCA tax. 
but you will need you will need this amount of money okay so if you have this money it's not a bad idea you might want to try out that country there is no extra expenses apart from what i've told you what's the uh, calculator now so you can actually come here and say let's say one eighty thousand dollar multiplied by 480 okay that's 480 000, 4, 480 right um, so that will give us what 86 million. So you need 86 million to get the passport of that country. You become a citizen within the space of about, about uh, one and a half months. And while you are in Nigeria, they can process it for you. Why you are in any African country, but you need about 86 million. I know some people will scream, but you know, sometimes I just need to share these. Um, so that you just have knowledge. You might have your uncle or your auntie that has this kind of money and they don't know what to do. St. Kitts and Nibs is a very great country that you want to try out to. And they have similar amounts too. And their CBI rating index is two. Um, let me come over here and say CBI rating index. Oh, I hope I'm sharing my screen with you. I hope I'm sharing my screen. Okay, I'm sharing my screen with you. Share. And then now I wanted to share this. I hope this is sharing. Uh, let me come over here, share now. So I wanted to say that CBI index rating So I just wanted us to look at it. What is CBI index rating? This allows for two modules of comparison programs by ranking their overall performance and desirability, ranking them by preference, nine pillars. Um, so uh, let's check those nine pillars. Let's check those nine pillars. While that is coming up, um, freedom of movement when they say cbi index rating what are they checking in this country if a country rank number two that means on this list is doing very well freedom of movement when you buy the citizenship you can move freely standard of living is good the life is good electricity is there water is there good road is there minimum investment outlay which is good. You can see the amount of money involved. Citizenship timeline is also good. They will process everything for you. Ease of processing, good. Due diligence, good. You can raise up family in that country. Certainty of uh, product, good. So these are things that they consider when they say CBIX rating. So uh, let me move on and say that uh, that's ranking number two. Another country you want to look at is St. Lucia, uh, 100,000, um, 300,000 real estate taxes. You can buy a property worth of 300,000 and um, you can also decide to um, contribute 100,000 to the government. Okay, so... Uh, they rank number four. Dominical Republic is another good place. And you want to look at 200,000 real estate investment qualifies you. Um, the passport takes six months to be ready. No residency requirement. That is, you don't need to go and live in that country. Once you have about $200,000, you use it to buy a property and you rent it out and the property is generating you income or the value of the property is appreciating or something like that, then you become a citizen of this particular country that we are talking about. Um, apart from that, you might also want to consider Granida. Um, let me show you this, if I can share my screen with you on that, share screen. Uh, let me share screen on that okay so let me come over here 
uh, citizenship of Grenada with the freedom to travel abroad and access US. So this country give you the citizenship right to access US. You don't need to get visa to get to US. And then look at it here. Um, cost effective for children. Um, um, travel privileges. You have you can travel to over 130 countries, including Schengen members. That is all the European countries. You'll be able to enter them without visa. And then you can travel to UK. You can travel to Dubai without visa. You can travel to China without visa. You can travel to Russia without visa, plus US without visa. Remember that. And your sibling, your children, your parents are eligible to receive uh, Granada travel benefits. All your family members, once you write their name, they can receive the benefits. Second generation dependent are subject to a fee of only US dollar, $2,000 for two children. So um, you don't have to pay anything for that. You'll be making proceed, uh, the, the, the processed in 120 days. They do that in about 120 days. Uh, when you buy a property there, you can resell your property uh, after five years. Uh, they have good hospitality. Apply to work in the US. As a, as a Granada, uh, as a citizen of Granada, is the only country in the Caribbean whose citizenship have access to work and reside in the US. You can be living in the US with, uh, with that uh, stuff, and it's 220,000 for a family of four. So, uh, look at some of the uh, look at some of the site. So, let me calculate that for you with calculator here. Uh, that's going to be. I hope you are going to see my calculator, Sha. Uh, that will give me 220. Multiplied by 480. I mean, that's the dollar rate now. You need about 100 million, but it's worth it. It's worth it a lot to have something like this. So, you might want to try this country out. Um, let me move over to the next country that uh, you can go to um, using. Um, you can become a citizen by investment. Antagua and Baradua, 100,000 or 200,000. Um, you know, that one is also good. It's also a very good country. Uh, Montigomero, um, open a brand new special citizenship as of January 2018 and with $250,000 in real estate for 100,000 application. That would be cash. Malta, Malta does not take Nigerians, but you have to check your country if you are watching this from outside Nigeria. Malta is in Europe, and you need 900,000 European, um, um, 900,000 euro to be able to um, get that. Cyprus, it's another place, but you need 2,000. 2.2 uh, million euro to invest in that. So instead of you to go to Cyprus and that Granada makes a lot of sense. All these other countries are quite expensive. They are quite, quite expensive. So the, those first five are the ones that, you know, I'm going to suggest um, that you can try out. Um, in one of my videos, which I did, I spoke about uh, migrating to um, uh, build your travel history. I spoke about that. So um, look at these 45 countries. Okay, here's the deal. I mentioned that somebody can go to um, look at it. All this country, um, Dominica. Dominica, it's a country that is very nice and it's visa free for Nigerians for 21 days. Cambodia is another country 
that is visa on arrival for Nigeria. Barbados is another good one. Sri Lanka, okay. Um, you might also want to look at, uh, let me see if I could get a whole list of this, uh, because as a Nigerian, you should know that there are some countries you can move over to as well that are also okay. So let me just take this. Monte Gomero. Um, just a moment, please. I want to make it bigger and bolder. That's why I just decided to do this, right? So let me see control A for you. Okay, so I think this is nice. Um, so let me share this. I hope this is okay. This is bold enough. Okay, so look at this. Um, so if you look at this, Barbados for six months, um, Nigeria has 45 of those countries. And for those of you that are looking at it, that can't I travel to any other country that does not require visa? What you're going to do is these countries that you are seeing on my screen, you will look for their embassy. You will go there. So you get it? You will go to their embassy. And when you get to their embassy, you will find out the latest information. You won't just take your passport and buy ticket and begin to go. Go to their embassy. Bangladesh, um, I don't think it's very, very... You need to check out that country. Uh, Naruo, okay, you might want to check out that too. You know, this is the one I just spoke about now. Visa free for 30 days for Nigeria. And the country is a very nice country. Um, so look at this other one too. Look at this other one too. But you need to check, you know, you need to check if they are still visa free. VG, VG is another one. Um, of course, Burkina Faso, uh, Bronda, uh, Kevad, uh, Cameroon. Chad, um, so there are so many like that. You can just look for my video on that and then you'll be able to see all the details of those countries that I spoke about. They are there on my YouTube channel. The title of that video is Use 45 Visa Free Countries for Nigeria to Build Travel History to Travel. And that can go a long way to help you. Um, having said all of this, I know a lot of people want to travel. If you would like to be with me in um, Dubai next year, I'm going to be doing a business and a, a business conference. A business conference. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing a business conference. If you want to be with me in Dubai, your visa, your accommodation, the training is taken care of for one week. I'll be teaching you on digital marketing, e-commerce, finance, business, opportunities that you can take advantage of, fake importation, how to travel abroad, YouTube, make money, deep over 60 courses. For one week, I'll be with you. If you want to be part of that, I am currently running that uh, promo. You can call me on my line. Okay, so you can call me on my line. And because I want to, I want you to, you can have the opportunity to start paying in installment, right? You can start paying in installment. So it's a one week camp. Um, 
I'm going to be, you will join me in Dubai for one week. There will be safari, your accommodation is taken care of, to and fro, visa, ticket, training, and it's going to be April 2021. And you can be paying little by little, 50, 50,000, 50, 50,000. 50, we'll process everything for you. Um, the total package is 850 and is subject to changes if uh, if things change. But it's 850 currently, and we've started having people taking interest. Once you show us your interest, we will send the form to you. You'll fill it. We give you the account number, you begin to pay, and this can help you to build travel history. If you want to be part of this, you can call me on this line, okay, so that you can be part of this. Um, having said that, if you want to be part of my training too, my training is currently um, ongoing. Um, one of the few things you will find around is my training, and it's going to really, really, um, help you a lot okay so if you want to be part of my training uh, you can as well contact me on this number plus two three four eight one one four five four five seven zero six please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i beg you i beg you please kindly hit on that subscribe button below okay help me click on that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, if you have questions for me or you are just subscribing, drop a comment for me that I just subscribed and I'm definitely going to reply. On that note, I'm going to close. Till I come your way next time, I am successful, Sami, and I'm saying remain financially intelligent. So, so this is the business.